Pacific Steel has been an iconic New Zealand business for over 50 years, helping to provide strength for a growing nation. In 2014, the Pacific Steel Group was acquired by Bluescope. The acquisition was led by the desire to sustain steel manufacturing in New Zealand for many years to come. Steel supply for Pacific Steel now comes from our local sister business, New Zealand Steel. New Zealand Steel is a company based around groundbreaking innovation and is a leader in the steel industry, creating a path for future generations. Through the innovation of Sir Wolf Fisher and team, New Zealand Steel were first in the world to create steel from sand for both domestic and international customers. The sand is sourced from Waikato North Head. Here, iron-rich sand is collected in a low-impact bucket wheel and sustainably transported via conveyor belt to the concentration plant. From the sand that is transported, a small proportion of it is used for the iron-making process, while the rest is returned and contoured to the natural landscape, before being replanted with grass and pine, all part of making Pacific Steel a more sustainable business. At the concentration plant, the sand is washed in a rotary drum to extract the iron. As iron sand is magnetic, it sticks to the drum, making it easier to collect. The next process the sand goes through is gravity separation. Here, iron and water are passed through a spiral. As iron is heavy, it's drawn to the centre of the spiral, while the lighter grains get forced to the outside. This process is continuous until a certain level of iron is achieved. Now, the iron is passed underground via a slurry pipeline to the steelworks at Glenbrook, 18 kilometres away. Here, the iron sand is dewatered and conveyed to the top of the furnace. It's then added to the furnace with limestone and coal. From here, these raw materials are turned into char. This is then fed into the kiln, where the sand is heated to 1,000 degrees for eight hours. Here, the iron sand is reduced to create a product with 78% iron. This is called reduced primary concentrate char. Once the char is created, it then goes into the electric melting furnaces and is converted into molten iron and put into a 70-ton ladle. In the ladle treatment station, alloys are added to bring the steel composition to a market-ready product. The steel is then transferred to the continuous casting machine, where it is solidified and ends up as 150 mm square billet feed. It is here that the billets are stamped with the cast identity, which stays with the product through its life cycle. The billets are then transported by train to our site in Otahu. On specially constructed cradles, 40 billets are loaded per wagon, with each train carrying a maximum of 720 billets. When unloading at the rolling mill, we track the billet's unique identity, which is stamped at New Zealand Steel to maintain traceability from billet to bar. The billets are then stacked in the yard, ready for manufacture. Each billet is loaded into the reheat furnace, where it takes at least two hours to heat up to 1100 degrees. Once it has reached temperature, the billet enters into the rolling mill, where the rolling process begins. Here, the billet is fed through up to 17 stands, reducing its cross-section and increasing its length. The speed, timing and diameter are all critical to this process and are carefully controlled and monitored by a control room and operational team. Seismic bar markings are rolled into the product at the last stand before being cut to fit on a 78 meter long cooling bed. Here, the micro-alloy bar is air-cooled, developing strength and ductility from alloys added during the steel-making process. After reaching the end of the cooling bed, bars are cut to specific lengths depending on the customer's needs. This also helps to reduce waste in their own manufacturing processes, leading to a more sustainable end product. Customers can choose from a range of seismic branded products, including earthquake grade, 500E and 300E deformed and plain bar, as well as the 500E reed bar in varying lengths and diameters. For reinforcing coil and mesh or wire feed, 
the bar from the rolling mill is further processed through up to 10 more reductions and laid into a coil form. The smallest rod produced is 5.5 millimetres and comes out at up to 100 metres per second. The seismic branded plain and deformed coil range includes earthquake grade 500E and 300E coil plus 500E ductile mesh feed. To ensure the quality and integrity of Pacific Steel products, they are tested in the on-site IANS accredited Quality Assurance Centre to meet the New Zealand standard 4671 where required. Critical tests include tensile, ductility, bend and dimensional testing. Post-testing, bar products are packaged for transport and labelled with details for full traceability to source. Coils are also strapped ready for customer dispatch, including full traceability details. Regular audits are carried out by Acres, an independent third-party product certifier, ensuring our reinforcing products comply to ASNZS 4671. Special rod feed ends up at the Pacific Steel wire mill, where it is descaled, drawn down to the desired thickness, cleaned and galvanised, then coiled and packaged for distribution. Pacific Steel is at the core of some of New Zealand's most iconic infrastructure and construction projects, providing certain strength that comes from within, and resilience that will remain for generations to come.